Hello, Sabadi. Welcome back to Mimi Cooking. Today we are making mackerel with tomato sauce. But if you guys don't like mackerel, use any other kind of protein. It's fine. It will work out perfectly fine. The sauce is incredible to eat with any kind of protein. So let's get started. In a hot pan, we will use about two tablespoons of oil. I am using olive oil, but if you like vegetable oil or other kind of oil, that's fine too. After I heat up the oil a little bit, I add in my macro and I sear them three minutes on each side to have that light yellow color and the crispy on the outside of the fish. Keep that in mind, this type of mackerel is already pre-cooked, so all you have to do is heat them up. That's why I'm using this type of mackerel, but if you want to use like the fresh mackerel, make sure that you cook them well. So after I remove the mackerel, in the same pan, I don't need to add any more oils. I think the oil in the pan is enough, so I will add in garlic and the white part of the green onions stir them for about or cook them about two minutes after that i'll add um, tomatoes and i cook the tomatoes until they are producing those juice from the tomatoes and i added in a little bit of water for now but i will add a little bit more water later but for now i just add a little bit more water and all the seasoning that I prepare. I let the sauce shimmer for about two to five minutes and then I check. My soil was a little thick so I add more water just to thin out the sauce and let it shimmer for like a minute and then I add in the chili just to have that spice kick but Yes, some people will cut the bird eye chili, but I did not cut it just because I shared this with my daughter. So after it shimmer a little bit, I add in my macro and I let them sit in the sauce for about two minutes. With the lid on, lid off, it's up to you, but I just leave it lit off. Once in a while, you can flip your mackerel to make sure that all the sauces go in the fish itself. So I let it shimmer about two minutes. I After that, I add in my green onions, the green part of it. See that? Turning around, make sure that all the green onions are submerged into the sauce. And at the end, I will add in the cilantro. Some people don't like cilantro. You guys can leave it out too, no problem. And that's it, guys. This is easy, quick dish. Make sure you guys click that like button, subscribe, and notifications. When I upload another video, you guys can see what I'm cooking next. Thank you very much. Have a great day. I appreciate all the support, guys.